Mar Mar sent. Ha 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 ha. I, I end up, I end up accidentally like taking on too many characters. I was wondering why you did. Anyway, so hello everybody, welcome back to Insanity Wins. Here I'm your host, the most Risky the Shark Queen, with my two co-hosts, the Rabbit Record, Two Kane, and Mar Mar Bunga, the Hyena. Voice hurts. Mar Mar sent Mar Mar the most lovely hyena, mind you. She says that she posts a picture that says everyone is so mean to me with a broken heart and an Among Us creature with a big ass cheeks in the shower. While exploring the haunted manor, you find a... Wait, weren't you here before? Yeah. What? Why'd you go back to the manor? Because I fucked up and I wanted to get it right. <laughs> Enchanted skulls were speaking riddles. His voice makes your ears bleed. He decided to name him Sparky and put him on your keychain as a fun pet. He tells you all sorts of cool things like beware of the tides of Venus. And if you meet a guy named Lenny at Costco, don't give him $20. Marmar said Tom Marvolo Riddle is an anagram of I am Lord Voldemort. Alright, S- Sparky tells you exactly when and how you'll die. Apparently, it's going to involve a lots of mozzarella sticks. Uh, no. You gain plus two bonus. Gain that foresight. You're minding your own business. Smelling people. Okay. When Dahlia grabs you and drags you to the lakeshore. Best summer ever! There you are, Ritz. Once more, I need your help achieving the best summer ever. Critique my rock stepping technique. Dahlia skips a rock straight upwards and it disappears into space. Moments later, you notice the faint glimmer in the sky. It's not Dahlia's rock or the satellite Dahlia's rock destroyed. It's a meteor and it crashes into the woods on the far side of the lake. Turn them into a giant bonfire. Yes! Ultimate campfire! Quick, tell me some campfire stories, but very loudly! You're about to tell her the one about the horny summer campers who finally got point when you're distracted by the glowing figure of the Rough Lake. Wilton says the figure in a warm, living place. Al Caldor, hell of the summer! Caldor, it is an honor to meet you! Uh, can you critique my rock stepping technique? I am here on much more important errand. Says the spirit, your passion for achieving the ideal summer has been I have a crest for you. I am grown weak as a lift due to the lack of worship of the heroes. The other sees and spark me and twirls my power. I need to turn. This is war! Destroy them! I will do it, noble hot man. Oh, we're gonna need it. Cause Florida? Florida is a wild lands, man. I'd make my own luck out of blood! Blood! Moments later, you're face to face with Vern, and it turns out traveling to Florida is easy. You just mix a can of, of Bud Light with cough syrup, and then you're there! I mean, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna test this, actually. Don't you'll die. <laughs> You, you're from Texas. You can't handle Florida. I am. Uh, so, <laughs> What's up, bros? What's up, bros? Says Vern. You defeat me on the top of that nerd, Keller? Marmar said Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and also to get tan. Good tan is critical for the best summer ever. Yeah. <laughs> Suck my Easter eggs, losers. Dude, he's doing three cake stands at once. Holy shit, I think I'm gonna have trouble with this guy. I can't. By the grace of his divine might, you're forgetting. He has one fatal weakness. He. He made one fatal mistake. Is it Florida? 
No. He told me his gender. Go for the nuts! Marmar said Thundercross split attack. <laughs> Thundercross split attack! That move never really works. <laughs> no, one, no one can defeat me. I'm gonna live forever. Spring break! Woo! You'll just see about that. It so happens you have the perfect technique for the beat to herald the spring. Marmar Slap his balls! Perfect stratagem of attack and defense. Remind me of spring is just the lame opening act for summer! Allergies! <laughs> what? <laughs> no way, a little pollen is enough to destroy the, the, the mighty spring. <laughs> oh yeah? How about a lot of pollen? Eat this 50 pound bag of pollen I carry around for exercise and sex reasons! Okay, the exercise reason I can understand, the sex reasons I need questions, I need answers to questions. Welcome to the kink land. No, I don't want to eat it. Guys, we're gonna... <laughs> they only eat bakery burritos and... P -p pussy. Hey, is it just me or Spring is just like a stoner? Marmar I mean, yeah. said sadly Batman doesn't eat pussy. Of course he does, he has Catwoman. Exactly. <laughs> Take that and this. Dahlia whips out an enormous bag of shrimp and peanuts. <laughs> I have more questions about this than the pollen bag. Where was she keeping them? My question is, can I have some? I'm hungry. Ugh, stop that. Ship and Peter don't have anything to do with Spring. Nope, they are common allergies. <laughs> spring shrimp, spring shrimp, shrimp season die. <laughs> Turns out he actually is a shrimp allergy. We just kill Spring. I think we did. I win. Ha 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 ha. Or maybe it's the peanuts. Or the bees. Where the bees come from? Or the gallon jug of black fluid labeled Vern poison. Well, Where did it come from? Oh, bees. We cover him in pollen, remember? No, no. They get the jug, gallon jug of black fluid labeled Vern poison. When the fuck did we make this? And why didn't we start with it? God damn. We wasted all that pollen that could have been used for sex reasons. Alright. Whatever the cause, Vern fucking dies like a loser, and you dance on his stunner. Okay, yeah, he, de he deserves it. Stunner shades are not cool. Hit the button. 2008 Summer is over. Forever. Yes, yes! Summer is victorious! Also, I have quite a few shrimp left over. Do you want to have a shrimp party? Yes, please. Hell yeah! Shrimp party! Dunk them in burn poison. It's harmless to you. And quite actually delicious. You gave plus two for creativity and one moment. My turn? OMG! Right, Where shall you go, Mar? Where shall you go? Marmar -mar said, I want to go to the lake. Go to the lake. Marmar -mar said, I want to get wet. <laughs> Spend the day playing in the lake. Look, I am a scary tentacle monster. Woo! That's actually pretty fucking adorable. Marmar said that's actually me, I R L. You're a tentacle monster? I thought you were a hyena. Everything is fun until you're mesmerized by a Marmar stranger. Marmar said I can be both. You don't know that the yeah are mutually exclusive. Right. What the fuck is a yare? They. Okay, she fucked up her words. They try to lure you with their beautiful enchanted... Sorry, their beautiful chants, but you know better to challenge them to a riff-off. I don't get it. They kick, they kick your ass, but you definitely have a lot more fun, specifically plus two fun. Marmar said I love women that can kick my ass. Slip away from the zany camp shenanigans for a moment to find Joy and Cocktailester sitting on a blanket with a picnic basket. How wholesome! Let's see how wholesome this lasts. We 
greetings. Marmar sent picnic basket. Hello, friend Marmar. Friend Joy and I are having an ordinary lakeside picnic without any wacky or ironic twists. Oh, let me let me get a little more comfy here. I'm just gonna stretch yeah, out. Sure, without any, yeah, yeah, you know, let me get them stretched out. Hold on. Hold on. Marmar sent Joy and I'm good. Looks kind of hot. Yes, that's why that's mine. I mean, thickness, man. That is my piece of ass. I think there's an ending where you get to see her naked. I must try harder. Okay, anyways. Hey, you. That's right. I'm so worn out for putting third and looking to donate all at the same time. It's nice to have a completely normal Marmar said I want food now. Please, feel free to join us, Marmar. There is plenty of potato salad and fruit juice for everyone. Especially considering the fact that I cannot eat or drink. Yeah, okay, question. So. God damn, that's what he looks like underneath his shirt. Yeah. His circuits. I hope they're uh, sealed in right. Well, I don't know if he can swim or not. You accept their invitation and sit down because, well, you still want to blink at least one of them, but something feels wrong about the whole situation. Hmm. What's wrong, Marma? You think I'm uncomfortable? Is everything okay? Do you need to, like, want me to help you know, rub your shoulders a bit? What's so tense? Admin permissions to hug? Indeed, I am detecting elevated levels of cortisol in your bloodstream, indicating an increased level of stress. You can share your problems with us. This is a judgment-free zone. Huh, that's actually actively scientific. No, 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 you gotta get together. If Joy and Calculus are realize that you're too much of a depraved war dog, to pick me like, civil like a civilized monster, you're fucked. Not the way you want to be. Man, it's just, just hungry, pal. I mean, I'm all fucked up with red. Hungry. Marmar said, sadly, I am a horn dog. Excellent point, friend Joy. I still have much to learn about organic irrationality. Would you like some fresh fruit, Marmar, or some deviled eggs? That's right, that's it, choices. Sure, there's some kind of uh, wacky choice you can make here to resolve the situation in your favor. That's how life works. Think, think, what's the best way to prove to your friends that you're actually a, a regular individual who's great at chilling out and enjoying picnics? Talk about the weather and how it doesn't remind you of sex. And because, and why would it? Haha. <laughs> why would you two always. Sorry. Why do you always have to be making some binary choice about what to do? Just relax and go with the flow. Marmar said I like the relax option. I mean, yeah, just chill the fuck out, that's what I can say. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Just because you're hanging out with calculus or doesn't mean your choices have to be binary. It's just time to break from your fucking strengths and your goal-oriented lifestyle. Just enjoy a sandwich by the lake with your friends, like a normal monster. Which sandwich would you like, Marmar? The egg salad or the turkey club? Marmar said turkey. Okay. 
Oh no! A wave of terror walked over you. Which sandwich should you choose? Egg salad is technically vegetarian, though not vegan. And with the le level of sensitivity and deer, you to joy or calculus If you choose the turkey club, is that boldness or will it fail unless you properly cultivate your fun? You stare paralyzed at the two sandwiches as calculus robotic claws, willing yourself to make a decision. Willing yourself to go. Marmar said turkey. I don't like egg nor salad. Hey, are you alright? Okay. <coughs> then you're fighting a lot. Well, maybe it is! So you grab both sandwiches and do exactly what you did with your senior year AP final exams. Pile yeah, there. By, by the way, there is actually a Monster Camp Discord where people sit down and uh, check things with each other and uh, about like what decisions they should they'd make. So yeah, that was, a, that was a joke aimed at everyone who does that. of each other and smother them in hot sauce and enjoy the tastiest culinary experience. Oh, yeah, I think I'd like to get to where I can smother that stuff in hot sauce. You did, just, <laughs> you did not do very well in your AP exams. Oh, so this may not be a good choice. But you did great eating these sandwiches. The flavors mingle perfectly. Your belly rejoices and best of all, your friends don't give a fuck what sandwich you chose. Shamelessly paraphrase words of Sigmund Freud. Sometimes a sandwich is just a sandwich. Then, this is a guess you gain two plus two bonus. Fun. A puncher of eggs. Marmar said fun. Me? Yeah, it's your turn. I'm going to the spooky woods. Perfect! She's just out of a fucking grizzly bear. <laughs> He's so fucking mad, too. I'm here for the fun. That day, while you were hiking through the woods, and an angry gnome steps into your path. Are we sure this is some gravity balls? Hot dog boosts, he cries. Look through the pass. You will see. Sorry, pass as you see. You must first answer my riddle three. Riddle number one, how is it written like a writing desk? First of all, there's that actually a riddle has been answered, it's just BS made up by Alice Wondering Creator. You put the gnome into the sky! <laughs> hmm, tough call, you give me an answer. You put the gnome. That sounds like something you can do. Yes, yes, it is. I'm proud of him. I guess you picked the perfect character for you, huh? <laughs> I found me! Apparently he was correct. The correct, the correct response is because nobody else tries to fuck me! <laughs> you <laughs> gave him <laughs> the smarts! Yeah! Congratulations! Oh, I had more fun. Marmar said, rest in peace, no. God bless his soul. God bless his soul. Nah, fuck him. Amen. Holy Bibble. <laughs> Holy Bibble. Well, to be honest, the Bible was actually almost pronounced the Bible, even though the Bible is a translation. But anyways. Scott? Scott's here? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. The thing, the, here's the thing. Scott and Polly are here, but they're not dating characters. Okay. Later, you were wandering around trying to tell if you have mercury poisoning for all the tuna you ate for breakfast. And then you see Scott and she joins Scott. I love taking pictures. Yo, Step, check it out. So you need to work with photography. It's basically the art version of sports. Yep, yeah, we're taking a photography class together. Let's make more fun with the picture of the majesty of guitar. What do you say to a more majestic? It's more majestic. It's not a small bush or a small shrub. You have a 
desperate need to include in a case everything you can, your friends do. So you whip out your phone and start snapping pics with Scott and Joy. Yay, friendship! Suddenly, Scott pauses and takes a big sniff in the air and inhales for about 40 seconds straight. It's awkwardly a long time of inhaling. I thought I smelled something kind of off. Joy, you okay? You smell sort of stressed out. Like that time I asked if I could eat macaroni just using my butt. And now I'm getting flashbacks to South Park. Ugh. Ugh, huh? Uh, um, please. Don't smell me like this, I... Something doesn't feel right. But I, I'm a bit flat. It's just everything is so calm. Kind of a jock thing. It kind of actually makes sense. It's one of the very, it's one of the very few rare boys we see Scott be smart. Yes. I'm glad. Look at the mountain. Yeah, I'm like a mushroom. That's my guess. There's definitely not an ancient evil lurking around that we can discover the summer around here. Like, for example, look at these pictures. If we were in a normal episode of Fred, we'd be spending the first two minutes. like Joy's coming up short on almonds and is about to be exposed as a total workaholic. Look through the, your pictures and find something that looks almost like an help her out. Hold on. This picture of the flock of birds which are classed by animals when we connect the birds like you connect the dots I'm sure we'll find an ominous warning. The revolution is too high in all these pictures is a clear element that technology has gone too far. I feel like the bird thing is going to be what gets it. Bird? Bird. Watch, it's gonna say something like relax or something or peace. I even keep a marker at the end of time, just in case I need to break or in case I need to connect some dots. Come here, you crazy dots. I'm going to connect you all together with me. Should have done the tech thing. Escape is impossible. Should have done the tech thing. 
garage and Joy spent two hours painfully connecting the dots on all the messages in the photo. It turns out there was a message in the dots. It reads, Beware. What? Slaps is too hot. It's like smooch at your own wrist. Um. <laughs> um. I did not plan this. Are you sure? I did not plan this. No, I do not speak bird. I speak whale. And three types of, uh... Marmar said he's a tentacle monster. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I'm, 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 I like, pull out, pull out the, uh, you know... Oh, what is it? Oh, yes. Pull out the, are you sure about that? For John Cena. Okay, hit it. How much do I lose? You smile. You did do this intentionally. <laughs> you smile quietly to yourself. <laughs> Everything is going according to your plan. Oh, You're a genius shit. for bribing those birds to find a very specific pattern for this photo. I hate these birds. <laughs> Hit that's, it. That's a lot of work, my dear. Yeah. I feel like this isn't going to pay off either. Oh my god, you guys. I thought we were just connecting the gods for fun, but actually, pretty scary now. They spell out a message about so much we do. Ah. Yes, you're finally getting it. But they're terrifying. At least should take them very seriously. They're the only warning of the terrible, earth ending evil that seems to come. In this case, the moment is telling us that slap is too hot. Fascinating. Previously, I have to admit, I wasn't a bit interested in slap. You're a bad omen. But apparently, we need to be extremely Damn it, I saw this coming! Because the comment is really just kind of an ancient table. Good day, jeez, this woman is really scary. I've officially added woman to my list of fears, along with fireworks and never meeting my dad. Aw. Oh. oh. Scott, this is what Scott, buddy. Again, this is why he's the best part. Okay. Come on! Huh? Come on, no! God damn it. Slaps is clearly ridding some evil vibes. Fuck! You spent a lot of money bribing those pigeons for this silly plan. Just to get your friends to think that you're hot, and those pigeons are totally scammed. Scott also draws on your face with his marker just to make sure you're as unhot as possible. You lose two creativity and one charm. God damn it, I lost half of what I got last fucking turn. Marmar said Lima. Alright, everybody choose an object. Say your choice out loud. Um, video game controller. So before, before we Marmar keep going, spaghetti. we should go ahead and end the episode here. All right. And I'll tell you why in a moment. Marmar right, said spaghetti. Alright, then we'll, we'll just check, we'll check y'all out in the next episode. Don't forget to like Marmar said spaghetti.